Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to English Football Club Barcelona, your Barcelona channel is in English. Well, it is, or it was, what it was, a uh, horrible match, to be, to be honest. Horrible match. We're going to analyze it with this scenario because it's more difficult than that just saying a horrible match but well before starting let me remind you that if you like our channel if you no sorry if you like barcelona not our channel uh, and you don't want to miss any of the 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 team's news this is your channel here we we provide you the most uh, we try the most accurate information Uh, we read the media in Spanish, then we translate it into English. We provide you the most interesting, or what we consider most interesting news for you. And then, with love and with, I don't know, however, we provide it to you into English. So if you don't want to miss any of our videos, down there you have a red button to hit. Uh, no, sorry, a red button that you can hit to subscribe. And like this, you will not miss any of our videos. And now, yes. Let's just start. Well, as I was saying, or as you know, yesterday it was the match against Galatasaray. No. A match to in the camp. No, no, it was our place, uh, supposedly. Um, It was not an easy match. I mean, uh, and, uh, nobody could consider Galatasaray an easy match. We said it in the pre-match that Galatasaray has been in the Champions League for years. It's not a weak team. And we are going to face now a problem in the in the, in the Turkish pro, in the Turkish team. No? Well, first of all, before analyzing the, the match, what did they do with this? Well, The Xavi promised rotations. Xavi's promised that we are going to have different players playing. And, and that was so true that as it, here you have it. No? I, I had to raise the players that they start in today from the previous match and they played just five players. No? So this was, oh my God, what happened with Dest? Well, Dest was the other one who didn't play the other day and he was in the starting 11. No? I'm sorry for Adama Torre. I'm in the middle. Sorry, Adama. Uh, there I go. Okay, so this was the starting 11. The uh, changes were well, a lot. No, Eric Garcia uh, came up. Then Frank De Jong in a position that they didn't like because he. he it's true that Galatasaray was pressing high, that they, they, their mind was not letting Barcelona do their, their game. Uh, and both, all of them, but Nico, there were two problems in the midfield. Nico was not comfortable in that position, actually, it's not his natural position. And Frankie Dijon, more or less the same, it's not his position. If you change this this situation, you put Nico in the midfield, in the as a center, as a midfielder, a defensive midfielder, and then Frankie Dijon in his natural position, Barca. Could have changed a bit at least. No, then Adama, uh, Memphis, and Ferran Torres. Now Memphis, that after so many months he's starting, he was in the lineup again. And now, before going to the to talk about the match, I want to talk to ask you something. For me, many players were not in their best level yesterday, uh, but you can save some of them. For example, Pedri. Pedri did a good match in the beginning, especially in the first match, the first half. No. And then Adama, I think he did a good match too. And those are the two ones. So my question is from these two, who do you think played better? Pedri or Adama? That's my, my question. No? Well, I want for before commenting the match, I want you to see this image. No? The players of uh, the this is an image. Just a, a, a screen cap. No, sadly it was not that clear. But you can see, or I wanted to, to show you how they are. They are firm, consistent, with a plan in their head. Look at Barcelona. 
big image, big difference. Barcelona was like, well, here we are. Galatasaray were with a plan and with an idea. Actually, Domenech talk about this. Okay, Domenech, that is a, that before he was with Guardiola, he talked about this. This their idea was to reach to Turkey to the next match, to the uh, home match for them, to with options of winning. Well, better than this impossible. Characters are either fill or the stadium is a hell. It's literally the hell. It's uh, the ambience they create and everything is going to be a very important factor. And yesterday we should have won. The problem is that Barcelona, since that the players were thinking that it's going to be an easy match, that we are going to be able to win without any problem, etc., etc. And it was not like that. Now, I, I found the first minutes eh, Barcelona disconnected completely. Araujo and Eric Garcia, when they have to throw the ball to other players, to pass the ball to the midfielders, etc., they lost like two or three, like, three, or, two or three balls. Eh? Uh, also, the um, desk that in attack was more or less okay, defensively a bit weak. You know, the, one of the options that in the 35, the most clear chance for Galatasaray was from his side. Actually, he took the wrong decision that it was going for the player. As soon as the player saw that this went for him, he dribbled him and it didn't score because Eric Garcia's leg was in the middle. If not, the goal of the week in the... Well, um, the best, the best in Barcelona in the first half. Difficult, no? Uh, Traore, for me, incredible today. The first half, the, I, I write uh, as far as, uh, as soon as I see things, no? Traore, the first half, incredible, no? In the minute 16, he dribbled two, three players, and he, I think he got one of the first fouls. Uh, while Memphis Depay and Ferran Torres disappeared, no? Ferran Torres in the minute 14 or something like that, he got a ball from Alba, uh, and... Nothing. He, Alba sent a wonderful ball, and Ferran Torres was running for the ball, but didn't shot, didn't try anything. So difficult, no? And uh, the first half, lack of intensity. I I, I felt that um, we we needed a bit more, no? Um, don't know. I need I need a step further, a, a bit more of pressure, a bit of more intensity and I didn't see anything I saw Barcelona that was trying to with no ideas passing the ball many mistakes the Barcelona that we had some months ago no? literally so Xavi decided to make changes Piquet, Busquets and Dembele came in for Araujo, Nico Torres and Nico Gonzalez and Ferran Torres no? um, this changed a bit no, no, not really. Um, the match was, it seems that the players they didn't have their day. I don't know what happened. As you can see in the image, they were totally disconnected. There, It's true that with these changes, um, we had some more intensity later. Uh, from the minute 60, we started creating more chances, but a bit late uh, for having ideas. And also another problem defensively, very weak. Barcelona with without ideas and very weak defensively, giving more uh, a lot of chances, etc. And thankfully that Gomez was offside because we received a goal. So more or less same problems. Eh? And minute sixty, Memphis Depay uh, received a ball from Aubameyang. And the same as, as the other ones. No, it was the night. It, it, it wasn't the night of of the team. So what? Well. Mini sixty one. The same. Adama Traore crossed the ball. The ball was deflected by by the defenders. Alba shot with the right hand, right foot. But nothing. White. Mini sixty three. Frankie De Jong shot, and the shot was good, but. Also, Peña had his day that yesterday he, he he saved everything. Everything that went to the goal, everything he stopped. It was incredible. For one second, Iñaki Peña became Benji or Oliver Kahn. 
ok? O Casillas, o Fre- uh, Buffon, não, eu não, he became, my God. Then, uh, Adama tried again in the minute 70 to a uh, shot, went wide again in 72, again, Dembele tried, but wide, we started to, to rush a lot, and now instead of having intensity and trying to match the play, we rushed, and that's even worse. No, because nothing happens. No, and in the minute 74, the most clear came from Adama, crazy the ball, deflected. Obama, Oba, uh, did an acrobatic shot, something like that. The ball uh, fell to on Frankie De Jong. De Jong hit the ball, but I don't know what he did. Went to the post and the deflection to Iñaki Peña's hand. As I'm saying, lack of... Uh, we didn't have any lag, any luck, sorry. We, we didn't have anything. The history was not our day, you know? And then, as I'm saying, in the 77, Galatasaray had a goal. Thankfully, it was offside, but ho, ho, ho. Not that much. 79, Luke De Jong came in, but it was not for Adama, and it was not enough to, to score. And that was all, no? Sorry, in the minute... Uh, I forgot to say this. In the 60, Obama came for Memphis Depay. That's why Obama came. Problems, problems, really. Because uh, next week, we have to face Galatasaray in Turkey. And the worst is that we have to face, it's something that Xavi talked about. No? We have to face them in their field. They are going to pressure high. They are going to be a difficult team. And then we have a very hard week. No? Uh, I read Osasuna. Yeah, this Sunday we have Osasuna. That, well, supposedly it shouldn't be that hard, but anyway, Osasuna is having a good season. Then we have to go to Turkey, and then three days later, we have to face Real Madrid. Galatasaray, it was a team that they didn't lost. They, they, they received just three goals. Three goals from the from the groups group stage, so we should have expected this. A compact team that they are going to close. This is going to be difficult to score. Of course, today was almost impossible. No, but well, who was you know? But uh, I'm sorry, but I'm being very critical. For me, the only one who played properly was Adama Traore. Even Pedri, that I told you before. More or less okay, but for me, under his level too. And the match could have been much better. That's all for today, guys. I'm sorry for, for this term, but well. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you if you enjoyed, hit the right button. And I'm waiting for your answers down there in the comment section. So hope we can have a, uh, we can have a bit of chit-chat. That's all for today. I hope you have a nice day.